This example, I want you to pause the video first and think about what different possibilities we have for you. So let's say we have, uh, or there's actually two possibilities. X could, or you could either be the numerator, so you could be three x plus six, or we could let u equal to x squared minus four x minus th uh, plus four x minus three. So first thing, once you choose your u, you find the derivative du dx would be three, and then you multiply the dx over, which would give you three dx. Do we have a three dx in the problem? No, but we're off by a constant, so I can divide the three over to get dx by itself. So this would be du over three equals dx. So far, so good. Now, if we take this approach, remember what I said in the previous video, Everything thing has to be in the same country. If you're in X land, you stay in X land. If you're in U land, you stay in U land. You can't have one leg on one country and one leg in the other country. So if we were to convert this problem from X land to U land, this would get replaced with du over three. So far, so good. This numerator would get replaced with u. Great. What about the denominator? So I'm going to write down what students often will try to do. This is wrong. Big, big, big red letter. Wrong. Uh, reason for this is that you cannot have x's and u's in the same integrand. If you're in x land, all the variables have to be x. If you're in u land, all the variables have to be u. You cannot mix and match x's and u's. So this is where I guess the art of uh, picking the right U comes in as well. You wanna pick something, the derivative of which is in the problem itself, either exactly the same or maybe you're off by a constant. So before I even did all this, I would have asked myself, if I let du or if I let U equal to three X plus six, fine. The derivative would be three DX. But what explains away this? How am I going to get rid of this entire expression if I am just replacing the dx with some kind of du and I'm replacing this with u? What is going to get rid of these and convert all of these to x's? And I don't have an answer to that question. So that's why I don't want to use this as u. So this is a bad idea. We abandon ship. On the other hand, what happens if the, den if the denominator is u? So x squared plus 4x minus 3 then du dx, the derivative will be 2x plus 4. Is this exactly what I have in the numerator? No. But what happens if I factor the 2 out? I get 2 times x plus 2. Now, I'm constantly looking back here. How can I make this turn into that? that? That's the question. And if I can, then I know that U substitution is an appropriate technique here. Instead of making that happen, remember what I said about constants. They're free in calculus. Before we do anything else, I would in fact rewrite this problem as factoring a three out and get X plus two on the inside over X squared plus four X minus three with respect to X. And I'm going to take this three out. There's not a formal name for this, but this in my head is just cleaning up the problem. You're reducing the visual clutter so that you have an easier time with it. Now my denominator is still u. u is still x squared plus four x minus three, but notice what I did by doing that. I said that du dx is equal to two times x plus two, but I'm only off by this two. I'm off by a constant, which is great. So if I do du equals two x plus two dx, I can get rid of this two and move it over to the denominator and get du over two equals x plus two dx. Now here's why this is beneficial. This whole thing is going to get replaced with du over two because that's exactly what we said here. X plus two times dx is du over two. 
So that whole bubble can get replaced with du over two. This whole thing can be replaced with u because that's what we said at the very beginning. u equals x squared plus four x plus three, minus three. Now we're ready to go from x land to u land because all the x's are accounted for. Everything that has an x can be changed into a u. So this really becomes in u land, the integral of du over two, which I'm gonna write off to the side. The numerator is just one, and then the u is in the denominator, so I have that. The two that's in the denominator I can pull out and get three over two, integral of one over u du. And here, hopefully you remember that the integral of one over u is ln of the absolute value of u plus c. And now u can be replaced back with ln of the absolute value of x squared plus 4x minus 3 plus c. So we started in x land, we went to u land, we have to go back home. We cannot stay in u land the entire time. Now, this is a problem where I actually would not have done u substitution. I would have just done pattern matching, and I'll show that to you now. Maybe use a different color for that approach. I would have still factored out the three and get x plus two in the numerator and then x squared plus four x minus three in the denominator. I'm still integrating with respect to x. Now I ask myself, what is the derivative of the denominator? The derivative of the denominator is two x plus four. That's the numerator multiplied by two. Okay, so let's do that. Let's multiply the numerator by two but if I do that, I also have to divide the function by two as well. Now the derivative of the denominator is exactly what I have in the numerator. So my answer is three halves ln of the absolute value of the bottom, x squared plus four x minus three plus c, which is the exact same thing we had right here. So hopefully you recognize that if you know your derivatives cold, you can recognize an undo chain rule a lot faster than sort of mucking around with this u substitution stuff. I'll do another couple of examples in the next video, and then I think the remainder will be done in class.